because the kind of stories we tell are scary stories so you've got to add tension you've got to set up the thriller uh, sequence you have to uh, tweak emotions but mostly you've got to keep it very taut you've got to keep uh, the mood mysterious and queasy and uh, put people on edge and we depend on Mark greatly to do that this music became almost like the third character in the show was Scully and Mulder and the music because whenever they were together I was right there with them and he's right there with them on the big screen as well but when it came time to do the movie version Snow ran into a musical roadblock it was difficult, it was really difficult to figure out what that should be, how that, how the TV music would translate into the movie music. For the TV series, Snow is his own one-man band, but for the bigger budgeted X-Files movie, Snow had some company. I, I used an 85-piece orchestra along with my electronic sort of X-File cliche sounds. <laughs> And this full orchestrated sound can be heard on the recently released X-Files movie musical score. At a record release party held at Hollywood's Virgin Megastore, hundreds of fans waited into the wee hours for Snow's and Carter's autograph. Why people would come, come there at 12 at night, uh, midnight that is, until 3 in the morning, well, some, well we, somebody must be doing something right. <laughs> X-Files movie has spawned two albums. One is the soundtrack, which has Mark Snow's music. The other is simply called The Album and features artists such as the Foo Fighters, Bjork, and Sarah McLaughlin.